Okay, now these types of factorings are what happens when you have a squared sign on a bracket. Okay, it, it isn't any new thinking. It's no new type of, of uh, magical factoring. Uh, but what it is, is a different way to look at factoring. So I see here that I have a bracket with a squared sign on it. A minus sign. And then a different bracket, I'll call it A, with a squared sign on it. So really, I have a b squared minus an a squared. And I know from my difference of squareds that this factors into b plus a and b minus a. Okay, so here's how I'm going to break this up. I'm going to take this first bracket and write it here. The first bracket is 2x minus 3. And then I'm going to take the second bracket which is x plus 3 and I'm going to put a plus sign between them. Now I'm going to do the same here. Take the first bracket which is 2x minus 3 and the second bracket which is x plus 3 and put a minus sign between them. Now let's simplify. Inside this big square bracket we have 2x minus 3 plus x plus 3. Oops, I don't need those brackets anymore. 2x plus x is 3x. Minus 3 plus 3 is just 0. So that whole first bracket simplifies to that. The second bracket, I have a 2x minus a 3. This minus sign is going to change both signs. So that plus goes to a minus. This gives me 2x minus x, which is just x, and minus 3 minus 3, which is x minus 6. Ah, there's my answer. 3x times x minus 6. Okay, so treat a bracket just by putting in a big B and a big A and then substituting back in. Let's look at this thing. I see a bracket squared and then I see five times the same bracket and then I see a plus six. Okay, well what multiplies to make six and adds up to five? This is just a simple trinomial. There's no number in front. So what multiplies to make six? Is one and six and two and three and you can see that this 2 and 3 add up to 5. So both signs are going to be the same. They're both going to be that. So it'll be a minus 2 and a minus 3. And it's going to be a b here and a b there. Now all I have to do is substitute back in what is b. b is a bracket 2a plus 7. So Instead of b, I've written 2a plus 7. And over here, I'll write 2a plus 7. Right there. Now I'll simp simplify these square brackets. 2a plus 7 minus 2 is 2a plus 5. And here, 2a plus 7 minus 3 is 2a plus 4. Okay, now we are almost done. The reason I'm saying almost done is I do happen to notice that 2 goes into both of those guys. So I'll leave the 2a plus 5 here, and I'll factor a 2 out of there, and that leaves me with an a plus a 2. And then usually we put this 2 out in the front of everything. So here would be my final answer. Okay. So, if you happen to have a squared sign on a bracket, like I do way up here, just call it big B for bracket. Then break this up into your simple trinomial. And then substitute back in what is B equal to. Wherever you see big B, you put in the bracket. Simplify, simplify. And then remember your second rule of factoring is 
or in fact your first rule of factoring is to look for a common factor your second rule of factoring is whenever you have a bracket make sure that you cannot break it up any farther and here I can break it up farther so I break it down as far as I can go okay so you shouldn't have too much of a problem if there's a squared sign on a bracket you just treat it by putting in a big B or in the case up above here a big A